Hey guys, so I want to put a little disclaimer in this video before I upload it. There are, there is some sexual talk, um, being talked about. Um, so if you don't like sexual talk, just skip over it. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd, uh, throw this little disclaimer in there. Um, there is a little bit of sexual talk. Not much of detail, but a little bit of sexual talk. So, um... Just skip through it uh, if you don't want to hear it. Um, you don't have to watch the whole thing, like all of that. Um, just, just be open-minded, and you know, yes, I say some what seems like dumb things in here, but I'm not editing it. It's going to be a real raw video. So, anyway, but yeah, keep watching. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this is different. I'm standing up. I'm facing the door like I'm just you know a different setting different mood whatever okay so this video is going to be about my coming out story now my coming out story was not special it wasn't like I didn't sit down with my mom and like have this conversation no when I was a kid, I was, like, I knew for a fact I was into women. I knew I was into girls, women. Like, when I was a kid, I was into girls and, and women. Like, I would, I was very curious at that age. And, like, yeah, I would have, like, a boy crush here and there. But, like, I wasn't into boys. And it was like, you know, I was kind of, like, attracted to them. But I wasn't at the same time. So it was, like, half and half for me. Um, when I was little, you know, I did date a guy for like two weeks. He didn't count really in my opinion. Um, but you know, there, there was a guy I dated for like two weeks, um, in the same neighborhood, like the same area, whatever. I had a friend that, um, she is lesbian. She's like, she's like, I searched her up cause I was like, because for like the longest time, for the longest time, she was my kind of first love, I guess. Um, yes, we were kids, and yes, I was a little older than her, and it was her idea, you know, it was her, like, we both agreed on it, but she was a little younger than me by like two years. At the time, I was, I was like 10 or 11, maybe 10, so it doesn't make me sound creepy. I was like 10, I think she was like 8, and then I turned 11, she turned 9, whatever. So we were only like two years apart, right? She comes, we were playing outside one day, and she was like, I wonder what it's like to kiss a boy. And I was like, me too. And, like, she didn't understand it. Like, I didn't understand it. And we were like, you know, we could try it together. Like, let's just do that. We'll try it together. So, me and her, we had this, like, little secret area, okay? It was like, there was this big shed, and I, I guarantee it's still there. When I go down to my hometown... I will show y'all the shed that I was talking about, okay? I'll, I'll show you the shed that I was talking about. Like, literally, no joke, this shed, okay, the way it was, okay, it was like, okay, here's the side, the door's right here on the other side, right? There's a wall right here, then another wall, and I think that one is also a door as well, or it's just that one door on that side. Anyway... Around the other, around this side, around this side, there's an area that goes like this. It's like a triangle. It goes in like this, right? And right there, right there is where we would hide at. That was our hiding spot. Like, that was where we played, basically. And I was kind of curious about her. Like, after all of this happened, I was curious about her. And, like, like last two years ago, I searched on Facebook and was like, is she on Facebook? Like, what does she look like now? Like this, that, and the other. She is a lesbian now. Like, she is, she is a lesbian. She has short hair, so she's like the dominant one in the relationship. She's blonde now, which she wasn't blonde. And, like, it was just, like, a whole thing. And I'm like, yes, this is her. Like, literally. But she's a bitch now, so I would not talk to her. But, like, straight up bitch. I'm just going to say that now. Because I talked to her one time, and, like, she just, like, was, like, a bitch. And I was like, okay, fine, whatever. Like, what the fuck ever. But anyway, before this, like, we went, we went to our secret hideout. And it wasn't really secret. Her sister knew about it. But anyway, we went to this hideout, right? And we were sitting there, and, like, we kissed, right? We, we literally kissed. And this was going on for days, like, weeks, okay? 
we would come back, we'd play outside, we'd play house, we'd kiss a little bit, and then play house some more. It was just like, she was kind of like my girlfriend in a way. Like, we weren't dating, but it was like we were kind of, it was kind of that way because we kissed all the time. Right? We kissed all the time. And like, she was, I was for some reason always the husband. I was always the husband. Why? I don't know. And so like, now it's all switched. Like, now I'd be the wife and she'd be the husband. Like, whatever. Like, it's just different like that, right? So, she was my first kiss. She was my technically first love. Like, I loved her as a sister. But then, after we were after we kissed and stuff, I kind of fell for her. And I remember, like, talking about her all the time when I was a kid. Like, talking about her all the time growing up. And I was just like, I wonder what happened to her. Like, I wonder what's going on with her. Like, this, that, and the third. And, like, you know, I was obsessed with this girl. And I finally looked her up last year. And I talked to her and she was a bitch. And so I didn't talk to her again. I did re-add her on Facebook, but I don't talk to her, right? So, fast forward to, I think, 11th grade. At the end of 11th grade. So, there was a girl in my class. And she was, I guess, bisexual. Yeah, okay. So, she was bisexual. And she heard me talking to one of my friends, another one of my friends as well, talking about how I was, you know, bisexual and how I liked women. Like, at first I, I said I was bisexual, but I was more into women at this point because at this point I did lose my virginity. I, you know, to, to a guy, like, you know, and I, I don't know, like, I was into girls more. Like, at the time, I was a little confused because I was just like, okay, like, I have crushes on girls, like, but I do like girls, and, like, none of these guys are really attractive. Like, I find, like, I'll look at The Rock and be like, damn, he's sexy as hell. Like, I'll look at The Rock and Diesel, mostly The Rock. The Rock is fucking sexy, okay? I will say that myself. But, would I ever have sex with him? No. One reason is, another reason why I know that I like, that I know I'm lesbian, okay, that I know that I'm lesbian is because, or bisexual, lesbian, whatever. I call myself a lesbian. But anyway, when I would do it with a guy, it would hurt 24-7. It would hurt all the time. I would not be, ple I would not be pleased. I would not get horny, ever. I never got horny. The only time I got horny, like, honest to God, the only time I got horny was random. It was just, like, once in a lifetime thing. It was, like, once every, like, once every full moon, basically. But it was, like, I was never horny. With my girlfriend, I was, I'm always horny. But it's, like, I don't do anything with her that much because I'm, like, you know, does she really want it? Like, this, that, and the other. And, like, she just, I just don't know. So I never do anything with her, right? So, like, you know, I get nervous when, you know, when we're about to have sex or whatever. But that's how, another reason how I know, like, yes, I am a tiny bit attracted to men. Whatever, fuck them, no. There are, like, some men I'll be like, oh, yeah, they're cute. They're sexy as fuck, but I'm not gonna, you know, do it, whatever. And, you know, so I have that opinion. I'm allowed to have that opinion. But, yes, also, I've been with men basically my whole life so I've had at least two girlfriends technically before my girlfriend now I no three girlfriends before my girlfriend now and like you know I always had better luck with women some women have their own like type I guess and Abby doesn't really have a type she fell in love with me because of my energy because of my personality she fell in love with me because of my personality and everything she didn't fall in love with me because of my looks like yeah she called me beautiful and everything like but she wasn't into me just because of my looks and I don't have good looks like at all like I have no good looks whatsoever and she knew that and she fell in love with my kid you know it was just a whole thing but you know anyway so me and this girl she was in my class or whatever and she heard that I was bisexual at the time and she was like oh my god like started flirting with me right this girl flirted with me for months okay since she had found out right and so 
she was like, oh, like, oh, you should, like, come to my house, or you should date me, blah, 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 right? And I'm just like, oh, I don't know, like, I don't know, I don't know if I should, like, you know, I was just thinking about what would my family say, like, I knew my mom would not give a shit, like, she'd be like, okay, cool, like, that's cool. She wouldn't have cared, right? My uncle would care, my step, my, her ex, my mom's ex would care, like, it was just, that's a whole different story, I'm not even gonna say it. But anyway, so, at the end of the school year, it was like the last day of school, she asked me out. And I was like, okay, sure, like, okay, whatever. She had asked me out before I got out, got on the bus, and then she asked me out again, like, after I got on the bus, and I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. So, we were dating, we were talking or whatever, and I remember I invited her over to my neighbor's house for like two weeks. And it was only supposed to be like a weekend, but she stayed for like two weeks, okay? And she had came over, because me and my friend Rose, I've talked about her in a video, me and my friend Rose were already staying there, we're already house-sitting, we were already, you know, doing this and that, whatever. And so, when she came over, you know, I went grocery shopping, I bought us all groceries, I made sure we all had food, my mom gave me food stamps, like, let me borrow food stamps, and I went straight, me and Rose went straight to the store. When, I'm going to call her Basket. When Basket got there, she was always sleeping. Like, this bitch always slept. It pissed me off so bad because I'm like, we're dating. You can't, I mean, we weren't dating at this point. We were kind of talking, like, we, you know. But I was like, you know, you're in my neighbor's house. You're, you were invited by me. Technically, I'm living here for right now because I'm house-sitting and she does not mind. She wanted me to house-sit, blah, blah, blah. She wanted me to take care of the dog and all this. So, okay. So, this whole time she's here, this bitch is sleeping constantly. She comes downstairs, shoves her face, and then goes back upstairs and goes to bed. I barely see her shower. She took a couple showers with me, but that was it. Like, literally, that was it. And, like, so... I was just like, okay, like, whatever. And, you know, she would have time to wake me up to do things, but didn't have time to wake up and help me do, like, help me clean or help me go get food or whatever. And I'm going to tell you this now. She was my first time having sex with a woman, I guess. But I didn't do anything to her. Her. It was more of like I was scared and like I didn't know what I was doing at that time. I was just like, I'm just like, oh yeah, I'll do it. And then I'm just like, oh, I don't know. Like I'm not, I'm not, I'm too nervous. Like I'm too scared, blah, blah, blah. And at the time I was terrified. I was like, okay, I can't do this. Like I can't, I can't. So she would do things to me. I wouldn't do anything to her. I did one thing to her. That's it. And so anyway, sorry. But anyway, so she had time to do that, but she didn't have time to get up to help me and my friend, my best friend with dish, like, with, to clean the house or to go get food or to put it away, blah, blah, blah. And it really pissed me off. Like, it really pissed me off. And we were walking to the store one day, me and Rose, and we were talking about this. Like, we were like, she needs to leave, like, for real. Like, she's not doing shit. Like, it's pissing me off, blah, blah, blah. So this kind of, like, stood me off of her, like, like turned me off with her because she was lazy as fuck. I'm sorry, I'm like looking outside. She was lazy as fuck. Would not do a damn thing. It was just constant badger. I would have to badger her like, please get up and help, you know, with dishes or this, that, or whatever. And like, whatever we needed help with, and she wouldn't. Like, I would have to wake her ass up like several times for her to get up and actually go and help us, right? She would never go to the store with us. She'd never want to walk to the store. She'd never want to go put away the groceries. She'd never want to wash dishes. She'd never want to do this. She'd never want to do that. And it pissed me off so bad. Anyway. <clears throat> it was time for her to leave. It was like the end of the two weeks. She was finally about to leave. And I told her, I was like, please do not post anything on Facebook yet. I said, I'm not out to my family. I have not came out to my family. One person I was worried about was my uncle. I was like, I have not came out to my uncle yet. Please do not post anything, right? She's like, okay, I won't, whatever. She goes home. This bitch. Huh. This bitch outed me. Okay, I was not, I was waiting to come out, right? And this was after I ran away too. So, I mean, 
I understood what my uncle was thinking because I had ran away like literally not that long prior. So, huh, okay, like literally not that long prior I had ran away. Anyway, so she posts on Facebook and tags me in it a relationship status. Bitch, I told you, don't post anything, right? My uncle sees this, okay? My uncle sees this. When I tell you that I became the joke, a, like the joke, not with him, but like with anybody. I was a joke to my uncle at the time, like at that moment in time. You know, he has thrown it out there several times after this but he comments on it right and he's like he's basically saying stuff like oh you're doing this for attention like you're not gay you're not into girls you're just doing this for attention because you want attention blah 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 this is a phase like blah 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 right it's not a phase for one it was not a phase and it may have seemed that way because we were only together for two weeks. Like, literally, we were talking. We weren't dating. And then, right after she leaves, I, I dump her ass because I'm like, I told you not to do this. You ruined my life. Like, literally, I told you not to do this, right? So, like, every now and then, my, bro my brother used to, like, he doesn't do it now, but he used to be like, oh, you remember when you were a lesbian for, like, two weeks? And I was just like, I'm like, yeah, whatever. Like, you know, to him and my uncle because they would both bring it up. I'm like, oh, my God, like, stop. Like, my brother finally stopped. And I was like, okay, cool. Like, but anyway, it wasn't a phase for me. I was really into women. I'm into women. I'm with the woman. Like, it just wasn't a phase. It wasn't, it wasn't like a joke. I, I'm dead serious, right? So, so basically, this happened, okay? And... Me and her stopped talking. She spread rumors about me. I spread rumors about her. It's fine. It was a high school, whatever. <sighs> then it was after school, after high school, was after I had dropped, after I got kicked out of high school. Tried to go back and got kicked out again. When I was going through all the court stuff and everything, going to jail and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And going through court for a year. Like, I tried to go back to school. Um... Like, I got kicked out because I had missed too many days, and I had ran away, like, the year before, and, like, I was just having, like, that year, my mom's ex wouldn't take me to school when I needed to go, like, whoa, the lighting is, okay. But anyway, like, the sun's, like, shining right there, so it's, like, whatever. But anyway, like, you know, I had no rights to school. My, my mom's ex would not take me to school. He'd keep me home. He'd do this, do that, whatever, and I could never go to school. And I ended up getting kicked out. He ended up going to prison. I ended up trying to do homeschooling again. And for like a whole year, I was trying to do homeschooling. And like I went back to get homeschooled. And I ended up getting kicked out because my mind was not set on my school. It was set on court. And I was so... Like I, I was dragged through this for a year because my mom's ex was a fucking dick. And I was dragged... For like a year, like in court several times, like so I wasn't able to finish school. That is why I'm going back to get my GD, right? But anyway, after this, like I was not in school anymore. Um, I was single and I was just like messing around or whatever. And I'm gonna do another story time about this particular person, these particular people, but. There was a couple, and I decided to, you know, have a threesome with them, I guess. I was into her more. Um, I was doing it more for her, like I wanted to be with her more, and the only way I could have done that is if it was like a threesome, whatever. There's going to be a story time about it. But after me and her, like, me and her was talking, like, flirting, like, she was telling me, like, oh, me and you would be together, but also I would be with my boyfriend. Like, it'd be polygamous, but, you know, it'd just be me and you together and, like, whatever. And I was like, I was like, uh, okay. Like, we only did it one time, like, me and her. Like, she was my first that I've ever actually done something to, right? 
And she was my first girl I've ever done anything to. And I was nervous, but I was confident. I was like, I'm like, I know what I'm doing now. I'm seeing so much porn. <laughs> but I know, like, even when I was a kid, I was watching lesbian porn, like, for real. Like, my mom caught me. I kind of outed myself when I was a kid, in a way, because my mom caught me and had that conversation with me. I don't remember the conversation. I don't remember if it was a lesbian conversation or if it was a man, a man and a woman conversation. I don't know. But I know she caught me and she had... You know, we had that talk. We had that talk several times in my life. Like, several times. Every time I get caught, have, like, watching porn, boom. Like, okay. But anyway. So, like, basically, me and her had done it. And after me and her, after I had sex with a girl for the first time, like, actual having sex with the girl, like, me and her doing things to each other, it was like, okay, I know for a fact... I'm a lesbian. I'm craving it. I was never craving a man. I was always craving a woman. Like, I craved her. Like, literally after I had, like, when I would do it with the guy, I would never crave it. Like, I would never want it again. Because it would hurt so damn bad. And I would have this conversation with my mom. Like, it, it, it would hurt really bad, right? And, like, me and this girl, like, me and her had it. And then, like, I was craving it again. Like, I was craving it. I was like, oh, my God. Like, I know for a fact I'm lesbian. I know for a fact I'm into girls. Like, there's no way I'm not. Like, and yeah, there are curious people in the world, but I'm serious. I like women. I've always liked women. All my porn history is women. It's not man and a woman or man and a woman. It's a woman. Two, it's a lesbian porn. Literally what half my search history is, is porn. Like, lesbian porn, okay? So, like... This whole thing, I mean, there's another girl I kissed, and she's also on my Facebook, like, me and her also kissed and stuff, but it was like, so I've, I've kissed two girls when I was a kid, um, more in, like, in a preteen area, but I've also kissed women, like, in the, like, in my adult ages, whatever, and, like, I know for a fact I'm lesbian, and when I met my girlfriend, because I dated some, I dated a woman prior to her, and her name was Kirsten, and Kirsten had three kids. She lived in New York, so we weren't able to, like, be together. And me and her were dating, and I think at this time I was pregnant, and I was by myself basically all the time. And so I kind of started talking to her, and me and, like, I was role-playing with her. The same way I met um, my friend Lucas was the same way, same way I met her, just different role-playing website. And I met her on there, and she was her her character was Ruby Rose, and I was like, oh my god, like yes, like so. Me and my character and her character started role playing, right? And then we just started talking, like out of role play, and it was fun. Like you know, I was talking to her, and me and her kind of we were dating for like months, like several months, and like half that year because. I was being cheated on that whole time. So it's like, I never did anything with her, but we talked, you know? And so I considered us dating or whatever. And we ended up breaking up. We had a falling out. Like, we weren't talking as much as we were. And we just broke up. We stopped talking. Um, and then I met Abby. When I met Abby, she was the first girl I fell in love with. I, honest to God, have, I mean, I had a true love, like... The girl that I kissed the very first time was kind of my true love. Like, I was, it was just like a crush thing. And I had crushes on her for, like, the longest time. And, you know, when I met Abby, I was in love with her. Like, she would call me beautiful every day. She'd text me. She had, like, the cutest little messages. Like, if I could find one, I'll insert one and read it to you guys. But it was, like, it was so cute. Like, she would just do all of these things and, like... It was just amazing to me, and, like, I fell in love with her instantly. Like, we were talking for, like, a week, and then we started dating, and then, you know, and then on the 21st of February, we met, and I've been here since. So, or 20th, 21st, something like that, and I've never left since, and I am in love with this girl, and I'm doing this for her, I'm doing this for myself, I'm doing this for my son, I'm going to go get my GD for my son, and for me, and for her, and it's just, it's a whole thing. But I am, my coming out story was, basically when I finally came out to my mom, I was with my ex still, 
And I was talking to my mom and I was like, mom, I'm like, things in my body is not working. Like something in my body is not helping me. Like it's not, I'm not getting aroused. I'm not, I'm not getting stuff like that. Like me and her had this conversation. It was awkward for me, but I was pregnant and I was just like, I'm just like, it hurts. Like I'm not, I'm not into it. It hurts. I, it I'm like, I, I'm not into him anymore. Like, I, I had this, I literally told my mom, I'm like, Mom, like, I'm into women. I really am. I'm not into men. And she's like, basically that's what I said. Like, I'm not into men. I'm like, basically I did, I was with men my whole life to, like, to draw the fact that I was into girls. And I tried to hide the fact because I was terrified because of what my uncle did to me and what my uncle said to me. And I was terrified to come out as lesbian. And so I just rebelled and slept with men and did all these things because I was terrified to come out to you. I was terrified to come out to him. I was terrified to come out to anybody. And I was afraid of being judged. And she was like, she was like, you don't even have to tell me. Like, I already knew. She's like, I already knew you were into women. Like, I already I already felt it. I knew it. I could tell. Like, since you were little, I could tell. And that literally... Like, I was in tears. Like, I'm getting hot. Like, it's very... I'm sweaty so bad. But, like, I got... I was crying. Like, I was terrified. And I'm so glad she took it well. I'm so glad she knew. I mean, hey, you know, I could tell... I'm just joking. You could have told me. No, I'm joking. But, like, so I would have been left scared. But anyway, um, you know, it's not her fault. But it's not my uncle's fault either. I'm not throwing hate to my uncle. I'm not throwing shade to my uncle. I love my uncle. I love my mom. I love my family. But it's like, he terrified me. Like, I just couldn't come out because I knew I was going to get backlash. I knew I was going to get made fun of. I knew this, that, and other, and stuff like that. And I am lesbian. I like women. I've never liked men, and I will do a whole separate video of, like, why I don't like men and why I will never have sex with a man again and, like, just things like that. But anyway, hope you guys like this video. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Comment down below if you are in the LGBTQ community. Um, even if you're not, tell me your coming out story. Tell me any story. Ask me questions so I can do a Q&A. Um, like, whatever. Um... Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.